should we live if we truly believe the Earth is alive? I didn't believe it at first, not really. This story is about the year I began to change thanks to friends, love, danger, adventures. Our town had the chance to remake itself, to take up a whole new way of living, and we face some big struggles along the way. I live in a beautiful place near a mountain. I own a cafe. I'm a chef, so food gets my attention, especially when the organic farmer who supplies my vegetables is in danger of being run off her land. A local tech mogul has been buying up all the forests and farmlands he can. He wrestles local politics over to his way of life, which is mega corporations, GMO crops, and possibly reopening an old gold mine. Even our wild salmon run is in danger. We didn't know for a long time, though, what this man was really after or how to fight for our land and water. Help and hints arrive in mysterious ways. Our legendary white deer appears in the forest. Tibetan monks come to town to make a mandala and spread its blessings. I journey to the southwest to trade for some blue corn with an ancient heritage. The second rising is part of making bread. Every morning at the cafe, I knead the yeast dough and I leave it to rise for the first time. Then I pound it down. When the dough rises a second time, it takes its final shape. Our town gets pummeled and we rise again, but in a new form with new ideas. It's amazing the energy when you act as part of the Earth's living systems. And our community, made of diverse and rather colorful people, is a source of surprising strength. We're beginning to discover how we might live if we truly believe the Earth is alive. We all have more to envision. Similar struggles go on everywhere over time. In many ways, it's an ancient story. <laughs>